Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 10, chapter 1, real numbers, Euclid's division lemma. Let us see the theorem, Euclid's division lemma. First let us see the statement. For a given positive integers A and B, there exist unique pair of integers Q and R satisfying a equals to bq plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r it is less than b that is we have taken any two positive integers there will be two unique integers that is q and r so we must satisfy this rule a equals to bq plus r where r value is less than or equal to 0 and it is less than b value. Now let us see by using this division lemma how to find hf of two numbers let us see. See now find hf of 60 and 100 using Euclid's division. Using Euclid's division lemma to get hf of 60 and 100. When 100 is divided by 60, the remainder is 40. To get, that is 100 when you divide it by 60, you will get a remainder 40. Now consider the division of 60 with the remainder 40. And again we have to apply the division lemma to get, see here, 60. So on dividing with 40, 40 ones are 40. So, you will get a reminder 20. 60 minus 40, you will get a reminder 20. Again, we need to apply the division lemma until we get here reminder 0. Now, we consider the division of 40 with the reminder 20 and apply the division lemma to get 40 equals to 20 to 40. So, we get the reminder here 0. Notice that the reminder has become 0. And we cannot proceed any further. Therefore, the HCF of 60 and 100 is the divisor 20. Therefore, we find the HCF of 60 and 100 as 20 by using Euclid's division lemma. We can verify the HCF by listing all factors of 60 and 100. So, first let us write factors of 60 and 100. Factors of 60 see here, 1 60 is a 60, 2 30 is a 60, 3 20 is a 4 15 is a 5 12 is a 6 10 is a 60. Again see this reverse, 10 6 is a 60, 12 5 is a 60, 15 4 is a 23 is a 32 is a and 61 is a. So all these are factors of 60. So we have written here factors of 60 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. Next we have written factors of 100. See here. 100 is 100. 250 is 100. Next 425 is 520 is And 10, 10 is 100. See now reverse order. 25 is 100. 25, 4 is 100. 52 is And 101 is 100. So we have written here factors of 100 as 1, 2, 4, 5, 10. Next, 20, 25, 50 and 100. Here, 10 repeated 2 times. We shall write only 1 time here. So, we have written factors of 60 and factors of 100. Now, we have to take common factors of 60 and 100. See here, I have circled here. Common factors in both 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So, all these are common factors. We know what is HCF. HCF means highest common factor. Among all these common factors, we have to choose the highest common factor. So, your highest one is 20. Therefore, HCF is here 20. So, by both the methods, we got here HCF as 20. So, whenever, if you want to verify our Euclid's division of finding HCF of any two numbers, we shall Find the HCF or else we can verify our HCF by using this listing factors method. See now do these sums. 
find the hcf of the following by using euclid division lemma in that see the first sum we need to find hcf of 50 and 70 let us see the solution given integers are 50 and 70 clearly 70 is greater than 50 now by applying euclid's division lemma we have to divide 70 by using 50 so that implies 70 equals to 50 ones are 50 we will get a reminder 20 since here reminder is not equals to 0 again we need to apply division lemma on 50 and 20 so that implies 50 equals to 20 twos are 40 so you will get a reminder here 10 so again we need to apply this division lemma until we get reminder 0 since reminder is not equal to 0 applying division lemma on 20 and 10 so that implies 20 is equal to 10 twos are 20 and we will get a reminder 0 since reminder is equal to 0 we cannot proceed further so we shall stop the division therefore the hcf of 50 and 70 is 10 so here divisor is 10 so our hcf is here 10 therefore the hcf of 50 and 70 is 10 see now second sum we have to find hcf of 96 and 72 by using euclid's division lemma let us see the solution given integers are 96 and 72 clearly here 96 is greater than 72 now by applying division lemma on these numbers 96 equals to 72 into 1 so 72 ones are 72 we will get a reminder here 24 since reminder is not equal to 0 we have to apply division lemma on 72 and 24 so that implies 72 equals to 24 3 is 72 we get a reminder 0 since reminder is equals to 0 we cannot proceed further so we stop division here therefore the hcf of 96 and 72 is here divisor 24 so the answer is here 24 therefore the hcf of 96 and 72 is 24 see now third sum Find the HCF of 300 and 550 by using Euclid's division lemma. Let us see the solution. Given integers are 300 and 550. Clearly 550 is greater than 300. Now by applying division lemma on these integers, 550 is equal to 300 ones are 300 plus we will get a reminder 250. Since here reminder is not equals to 0, by applying division lemma on 300 and 250, that implies 300 equals to 250 ones are 250, we get a reminder here 50. Since here reminder is not equals to 0, again we need to apply division lemma on 250 and 50. So that implies 250 equals to 50 Pfizer 250. It leaves a reminder 0. Since reminder is equals to 0, we cannot proceed further. So we shall stop the division here. Therefore, the HCF of 300 and 550 is the divisor 50. See now question number 4. Find HCF of 1860 and 2015. Let us see the solution. Given integers are 1860 and 2015, clearly here 2015 is greater than 1860. Now we shall apply division lemma on these both numbers that is 2015 and 1860. So 2015 is equals to 1860 ones are it leaves a reminder 155. Since here reminder is not equals to 0, again we have to apply division lemma on 1860 and 155. That implies 1860 is equals to 155 12 sir, 1860. It leaves a reminder 0. Since reminder is equals to 0, we cannot proceed any further. So we have to stop the division. 
Therefore, the HCF of 1860 and 2015 is the divisor 155. Therefore, the HCF of 1860 and 2015 is 155. Today, we have seen class 10, chapter 1, real numbers, Euclid's division lemma with examples. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.